Hey, 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 Jessica's party! Woo! It's morning. I love mornings. You know why I love mornings? Because my kids are at school. <laughs> I do love my kids. I do. But I also love that I can do my job from my house. And when they're here, I don't do my job as well. So it's a good thing for them to go. It's a great thing for them to go. Um, I thought I would jump right into this morning's live. Yesterday we did skincare. Um, I went through kind of the ins, the outs, and in betweens of skincare. And um, I just did my rose water here. I'm going to do my facial stuff quick while I'm talking to you. And then today we're going to get into the base. Because let's face it. You can have all the pretty stuff in the world covering your face, but if you haven't got a good base, well, you get, I mean, you can get by with it, but a good base is just good to have, especially when you're going for a flawless look and flawless coverage. By the way, um, mom confession here, I don't take showers every single morning because I have to get my kids off to school and sometimes it just doesn't work out that way, but check this out. If you watched my live yesterday... That stuff's still in place. And I've washed my hands. You know, it's not like I haven't used the bathroom in the last 24 hours. But that stuff is, it is the bomb. It is. The lip stain. But that's not today's topic. I'll talk about that later. Um, so, anyways, we covered our skincare. Today, we're going to talk about the base. Now, base, base, base. What do we have? What am I talking about with base? Well, I'm talking about two different things. First and foremost, this kind of rolls over from skincare, um, primer. If you aren't priming your face, you are not giving yourself a really great place to start with your makeup. You're not giving your makeup a fair shot at staying in place. Now I'm going to brag up our primer a little bit, and I'm sure if Jess watches this, she's going to brag it up too. We have, you can see, <laughs> it lasts a really long time, our Touch Glorious Primer. Um, you only need just a little bit of it, and then you put it all over your entire face. And it goes on like satin, satiny smooth. And what primer does is it puts a protective barrier between your skin and the environment, first and foremost. So it's going to protect your pores from getting clogged up with dirt and gunk and grime. We don't want that in our face. And all that other harmful agents. Um, you probably just seen that I put my moisturizer on. It's also going to help lock that moisturizer in place. So another benefit of primer. The biggest benefit people think about when they think about primer is that it keeps your makeup in place. Okay. Now I've done demos before with an orange, but my orange is getting a little old here. So it really wouldn't be a fair demo because it's really dry. It'd be like super dry skin. But if you were to look at an orange and see how it's pitted, if you take primer and you put it on the outside of an orange and then you put foundation on top of that, that foundation coverage is going to look smoother, more even, um, and it's going to basically go into those divots um, of the orange and give a nice smooth finish. Now if you put the, prim or the foundation on the opposite side of the orange where there is no primer, you're going to see the foundation in the divots, in the fine lines, in the wrinkles, in the creases, same thing with your face, okay? We don't want that primer or foundation or whatever it is that goes into your fine lines and wrinkles and settles, uh-uh, it only makes you look older. And that's not what we want with our makeup. If you're wearing makeup to look older, stop it. You don't want to look older, <laughs> trust me. You will age fast enough. So today's, I'm, I have my our four main types of coverage, if you will. And we have different coverages for different skin types. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a pencil here. Uh, one that you can actually see. Now notice, if you do this little trick, I'm going to give you a tip because I've had people that are like, I did that and it didn't work and blah, blah, blah. Listen to me. I primed my face. My primer is on. It's set. Now I feel comfortable writing on my skin with one of our smudge proof liners or sharpies or whatever because I know it will come off easily. 
All right, we're gonna quadrant myself out here, like so. So here is our smudge proof liner, again for another day. But I wanted to quadrant myself so I can show you the four different types of coverage and how they work. The key to any coverage is primer, okay? So probably the most popular coverage or popular product you have seen of Uniques, and I apologize, this video is gonna be longer than three minutes, is our liquid to powder foundation, touch mineral foundation. So you use a brush, a liquid foundation brush is best. You shake it real well. You're gonna get, if you were doing your whole face, I would say, oops, sorry, you would want five drops, but because I'm only doing a quarter, I don't even probably need three drops. I probably only need two, but I don't know. Um, and let's pick, let's pick this here, okay? So I'm gonna just start and show by showing you how the coverage goes on. So it goes on smooth. Um, I'm leaving this bottom line so you can see a new whatever. Um, but leaves a, what I love about this and what a lot of ladies love about this is it leaves a powder finish. So it's a one step thing. You don't have to put a powder on top unless you want to, okay? Second type of, um, second type of base product I like to talk about is our, and I love this stuff, no joke. You can get by with using just our powder. So, and I'm using the shade in Taffeta. You can use this little thing here. And I'm gonna use this bottom part of the quadrant and cover up with just using powder, okay? Our products are versatile, like uber versatile. So I did liquid to powder up here and I'm doing powder down here. I can't see very good. And you guys are my mirror, so there we go. Okay, you can kind of still see a line here. Where's my there? I'm gonna blend a little bit here. Can't see that one, but you can see that one. Alright, sorry. <laughs> now our third type of coverage would be our BB Flawless. I use the shade Honey. I love BB Flawless. Like I legitimately love this stuff. Mostly because um I think it's because I'm a child of the 90s, and so I'm used, do you remember the process? You did the, you did your foundation, and then you did your powder, and then you did your blush, and then you did the rest of your crap, right? So this is just probably a creature of habit, but there is equally great coverage using our BB cream, okay? So I'm gonna use the BB cream on this bottom corner. Now the shade I'm using is Honey, so it might be just a touch darker than these two because this is taffeta this is honey that's okay though but you can see it's going to give me pretty good coverage there and then third or no sorry fourth but definitely not last and i can't even show you this one because this is our heavy if you need heavy coverage okay i'm going to show it to you i used to use this just around my eyes this is our um cream heavy cream foundation but you can use this legitimately everywhere all over your face and this is going to be a much heavier um, coverage will I tell you it's lightweight feeling no because it's a heavier coverage but if you need more coverage it's a great option for doing coverage okay so you have just seen if you're just tuning in you're gonna to have to watch the replay I apologize but what I just did is I took, sorry, I have itchy noses right now. I took the four different types of coverage that we have and I put one on this quadrant, one here, one here, and one here. You can't really see that I've used four different colors or four, they're all the same color, but four different types because our colors and our coverages are all so good. So it's really a preference. That's what my whole point of this is. It's a preference. And that's where I come in. So if you want help finding the perfect base for you, that's where we chat in a message because I'm gonna be able to color match you. I'm gonna be able to tell you what's great for your skin type. Um, and I'm gonna be able to just give you the one-on-one -on -one attention that you really need when you're choosing a great base. So there is my base for the day. 
four different kinds, but you really can't tell, all with equally great coverage. One more quick tidbit with this. If you haven't ever seen our concealer, our concealer is seriously by far the best concealer I've ever used in my life. Sometimes you put concealer under your powder or under your stuff, you can also use it on top. So if you have dark circles or blemishes, I'm telling you what, best thing is the colors match. All of our stuff is interchangeable. It all matches. I love that. So I just took a teeny tiny bit of it here and I'm going to rub it between my fingers. What I'm doing when I do that is I'm warming it up, make it more um, spreadable and blendable. I'm just covering up some darkness from last night. And you want to bring that down. You don't want that to be just at your eyes because you don't want to look like you are wearing raccoon glasses. And you just dab to blend it out. Okay, so there it is. There is your base. I'll be back later today to talk about some other stuff. But if you want to catch more of me, remember, you can always follow me or friend me on my main page. And I'm going to be doing a live on my main page here in just a little while with a full look.